Hi everyone and welcome to the Imperial Wealth YouTube channel. I was scouring airdrops.io and Twitter for any new airdrops to do some airdrop farming and I noticed that it looks like LimeWire is coming back. If you grew up in the late 90s, early 2000s, you will probably know what LimeWire is. And upon further investigation, it's not really an airdrop. It's a little bit more interesting than that. There's going to be a public sale of a LimeWire token and it's going to be an NFT slash social media platform for selling music online. I'm going to have a brief look at this project to see what it's all about. And I'm also going to show you how to join the waiting list for the first round of public sales of this token. Stick around and we'll have a look at that right now. So most people that grew up in the late 90s, early 2000s who were into music and had the internet would know what LimeWire was. But if you don't, there is actually a Wikipedia article on the old LimeWire. It was a peer-to-peer -peer file sharing service. It was free and it was mostly used to uh, download and distribute pirated music and movies. It's estimated that it was installed on over one third of all computers globally. Now, of course, the people on this peer-to-peer -peer service were using the service to download music illegally and went through a lawsuit and uh, LimeWire was responsible for $72 trillion in damages. And that's ridiculous, but they settled for $105 million. So in 2010, it was obviously shut down. But LimeWire is now being reborn as an NFT marketplace and social media platform for musicians to use to distribute their music in the form of NFTs. And it looks like the project is really picking up some traction. If we look at the token sale, so I'm just gone to LimeWire.com. That is the official uh, website of the project. And the token is going to go on public sale in about 18 days from when I've made this video, which is May the 2nd, 2023. In the private sale and community sale, it looks like they raised about 10.4 million US dollars. So we can see there's already quite a lot of interest in the project. So I found a couple of articles on the project, which I'll leave in the description of this video. Here's a good one on blockworks.co. It says that the platform was resurrected by a Austria based pair of entrepreneurs. I'm not even going to try and pronounce their surname. I'm assuming they're brothers. Uh, in mid-2022, and they've launched a bit of a fun game that allows players to experience the old LimeWire. This is basically a bit of a gimmick to get some interest in the project before the main project gets launched. You can sign up as a creator or a fan. So if you are a musician or a music producer or a publishing company, you can be a creator on this um, platform, or you can become a, a fan. So I signed up as a fan, and then that will give you this screen here. Um, where we can actually just on the home go to the LimeWire game. So this is basically uh, an email capture. So it's trying to get people's email addresses so they can do all of their marketing. It says that you can search music from the 2000s, download uh, as many as you want. Uh, beware, not all files are legitimate. Some of them are viruses and then the game will be over. So that's a little bit of a fun game uh, as a marketing exercise. But what I'm more interested in is what the platform's going to be once the main token is released and once the main platform is live. So if it looks like there's a few creators that have signed up already. So it's in sort of like a beta phase. So from what I can gather, it looks like it's going to be basically a music streaming or music downloading service, but it's going to be blockchain based with the LMWR token. So under the payment here, you can actually load up your account with crypto. So it looks like at the moment they're accepting uh, Ethereum, Bitcoin, Algo and USDC, which would most likely be on the Ethereum network, although they could have some other options. Uh, it looks like you can pay with a card as well. So this will open it up to a, wide, a wider audience. I'm assuming that you basically load your account up with some funds and then you'll actually be paying to download legitimate music or tipping other creators on the platform. I found Sean Kingston is on the platform. Looks like they may have done a paid partnership because he's releasing a exclusive track 
on LimeWire on Monday, April the 10th, which has already passed. So I did find some useful information under the resources and about LimeWire. Looks like they've got a fairly big team and they're all doxxed as well. So um, it might be a good project to get involved with at an early stage. There's been a lot of attempts at doing uh, music-based NFT blockchains. Not a lot of them have gone particularly well, but it does look like this project has all the makings of becoming very successful. The team says that LimeWire is going to be a platform for content creators, artists, and brands to create membership-based communities for their most passionate fans. So that has definitely got a use case. If you want to join the waitlist for the public sale, just go to the main LimeWire page, sign up as a creator or a fan, and then hit join the waitlist up here. You can also click on the LimeWire token and that will open up this page and you can go to their Discord right here or join the waitlist by simply popping your email address in. Now, for anyone who has a blog based on cryptocurrency or a YouTube channel or has some friends that might be interested, the airdrop side of the LimeWire is basically just a referral system, which isn't really that exciting. Um, but what they're doing is they're incentivizing people to um, get their friends or their followers if they uh, have a big social media following or even just a small one. Um, they actually have a referral program where they are airdropping tokens to the people who've referred the most people. So the top referrer will get $30,000 worth of the token. Um, then ranks two to six will each get 15,000. So that's the, the top five underneath the main one. And then from seven or under, you'll each get a small amount of the token worth about 30 US dollars and a original LimeWire NFT that they're saying is valued around 750 US dollars. So if you think you can refer anyone to this website, if you've got a bit of a following or some friends that would be interested, you may very well get on the top 4,000. It might not be that hard, where you'll be getting basically about $800 airdrop value. So it might be worth giving it a go. I'm more interested in the public sale. If I'm going to join the wait list and pop my email address in there. So after popping my email address in to join the wait list for the token, it's given me my referral code here. They've got a easy share to Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, WhatsApp, and Telegram. If I click on that, it'll probably create a post for me. So that's a way if you've got a bit of a Twitter following, uh, you might be able to uh, get some signups and uh, get that airdrop. So that's a quick look at the new LimeWire project. It looks like the main screen uh, is going to act a little bit like Twitter. This reminds me a lot of Twitter. But definitely keep your eye on this project. And if you're interested in joining the public sale, pop your email in. If you've got a following, refer some people, you might get the airdrop. I hope that you have found this content valuable. If you have, make sure you subscribe to our channel for all the latest in cryptocurrency news and education. Make sure you like this video. And if there's any topic you would like us to cover, leave us a comment. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.